Good day, good people. Miss Meredith is on her way. I'm going to be doing her hair. But I wanted to ask you all about your circadian rhythm. That's what lets you know when to go to sleep and when to wake up. And then right before you go to sleep, and as soon as you wake up, that is what you call hypnagogia. And it's open to suggestion. It's like a hypnotic state. It's the deepest sleep, but you're most awake. Like paradoxal. Like rapid eye movement sleep. And the most happens in that time. So if you're forced to wake up, you don't get to like marinate and thaw out and, you know, just chill out before you start your day. In hypnagogia, when you could just lay there, you can do whatever you like during that time. But it sets the tone for your entire day. How you like them apples? And when I mean set the tone, I mean, when you put, it's what records you put on for the day. Is it going to be scratched up? Is it going to be a sad song that's played? Is it going to be frantic anxiety because the alarm clock's bad, bad? Who wants that? Who? So wouldn't it be so nice if you could just wake up whenever you want? And you could just go do whatever you want and get paid for what you love to do. At whatever hour you choose to do it. And then businesses really could just be open 24 hours. Because people, some people, their circadian rhythm allows them, they want to be up at night. They're nocturnal. Spirit time. You never know. Everyone's different. But you get different when you want a hamster wheel. And you got to be here this time. You got to be there. You got to be conformities like a gun to the head. And you got to be in traffic. And lines are the biggest waste of time. I'm so biased. But that's just some food for thought. So it'll give you a little something to talk about with your friends other than each other and other people that don't have anything to do with your everyday life and make no difference in it. What would you do if you could get up and do whatever you want all the time, every day? Okay, the oculatum that I'm going to be reading to you guys for today is... See not your fate in others' faces. See not your fate in others' faces. See not your fate in others' faces. See not your face in other others' faces. See not your fate in others' faces. Is it your fate or is it their fate? Are you them or are you you? Who are you? I'm so, so looking forward to meeting all the unique, your individual, individuality, individualism, individual uniqueness, what makes you you, what makes you different. I want to meet what's so great about you, what's so special about you, what you say it is, what you think it is. That's what I want to know. And that's it. And that's all. Oh, today's December 12th, y'all. I didn't even get to... Tuesday, December 12th. 12, 12, 17. So it's going to be a marvelous day, darling. Make it that for yourself. And don't you give nobody the power to discourage you. And don't you give nobody the power to ruin your day and take your joy. And that's mandatory. Because people only do what you let them and what you allow. So I'm going to put it right on you. Somebody going to get on your nerves. Maybe. But guess what? What you going to do about it? Are you going to stay true to you and be the divine? Or are you going to get down on the ground with the ants and the small things to giants? And the pentas next to the rose. Were you the rose rice? Boo, you the rose. You ain't got time to be big. And Pinto sticking a middle finger up at you. Oh, well, so. Carry on. Ain't no great poop on over here. <laughs> no cutting out of my... Nah. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Peace. Come on, Minx.